Hello, my fun friends. Welcome to Zoo Keeper Talk with me, Head Zookeeper Willow. Oh, wow. I can see that you're ready to learn about the animals. Let's see, who should I introduce to you today? Look, let's talk about giraffes today. Giraffes are the world's tallest land living animals. Let's stretch our arms up super high. Let me see how tall you can be and pretend our arms are a giraffe's neck. And an adult male can grow to about 18 feet tall. That's taller than three adult humans standing on top of each other. Giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa. Let's ban ourselves. It's a little bit hot in the savannas. Whew. Giraffes like to be with other giraffes so they can roam around in groups. Giraffe groups are called towers. If I was a giraffe, I would want you to be in my tower. Scientists believe that there are only about 70,000 giraffes left in the wild. That's because some of their habitats are being destroyed and because some people hunt giraffes. Giraffes eat a lot of leaves, bark, and twigs high up in the trees. Here at the zoo, it's important for us to raise the giraffe's food up, 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 up in the air so they can feed naturally like they would in the wild. Have you met my keepers in training, Rocco and Sable? I'm going to ask them to feed the giraffes. While I look for them, you can enjoy a little freeze dance. When the music is playing, let's dance, dance, dance. But when the music stops, you have to freeze. Here we go. Dance, dance, everybody dance, dance, dance. Everybody dance. Dance, dance, everybody dance, 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 everybody dance now. Welcome back, my friends. I have found Rocco and Sable while you were dancing and freezing. Now, Rocco and Sable, the giraffes need to be fed. There are wheelbarrows of their food in the zoo kitchen. Each giraffe gets about 75 pounds of food a day. I need you to get the wheelbarrows and take them over to the giraffe habitat. Got it. And then, may I jump into the hippo pool and cuddle with the hippos? First of all, Sable, hippos are very dangerous. They have large teeth and husks that they aren't afraid to use. So never cuddle with a hippo. Second, there is more that has to be done for the giraffes once you get the food to their habitat. Okay, Willow, so far I have get the wheelbarrows of food from the zoo kitchen, then we take the wheelbarrows to the giraffe habitat. What do we do after that? Great question, Waco. First, after that, I need you to use the pulley to get the food up, 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 into the buckets, up by the trees. We can put the food up high so the giraffes can reach up to get food with their necks and tongues like they do in the wild. We got it, Willow, and we won't let you down. Great. Okay, Sable, let's get right on this. The giraffes need their food, and they need it up, up, up in the trees. Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. It is hot, hot, hot. If we follow all the steps on that list, we may die of heat. I agree the giraffes need their food, but can't we put it on the floor this one time? Willow would understand. She certainly wouldn't want us to die of heat. It is a big deal. Willow wouldn't have told us it was important if it wasn't important. 
I think today's Bible story might help Sable see how important it is to obey Willow's instructions and put the giraffe's food where it belongs, even if she thinks it's dangerous. Our story is about Daniel's friends who had to be brave and obey God's ways, even when they knew they could get hurt. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Ariana. Today, we're going to learn about Daniel and his friends. Let's jump into this Bible story together. Can you jump on the count of three? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, great job. Now, Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. He did not love the Lord. Now, one day, Nebuchadnezzar made a tall statue out of gold. His officials made a new rule for all the people, and it said, when you hear the sound of music, fall to your knees and worship the gold statue. Anyone who does not obey this new rule will be thrown into a very hot fire. When music played, everyone in Babylon fell to their knees and worshiped the gold statue. Well, almost everyone. Three men from Judah did not fall to their knees and worship the statue. They worshiped God, and they knew God did not want them to worship anyone or anything else. These men were Daniel's friends, and their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Some men went to King Nebuchadnezzar to complain. They did not like these men from Judah who did not obey their king. The king was angry. Can you make an angry face and shake your fist? Grrr. Good job. He called for the men to ask them, is this true that you do not serve my gods? If you do not bow down when you hear music, I will throw you into a very hot fire. Then what God could rescue you from my power? Well, the three friends said, King, we worship God. He can save us from the fire. But even if he does not save us, we will not worship the gold statue. King Nebuchadnezzar was even angrier. Can you make that fist again? Grr, he was angry. Oh no, he told the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to make the fire even hotter. And then they threw the three men into the fire. Then suddenly the king jumped up and said, didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? Look, the king shouted, I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't tied up. And the fourth man looks like the son of God. So the king said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come here. And the three friends came out of the fire. They were not burned, and they didn't even smell like smoke or fire. They had not even been hurt at all. God was with them and had saved them from the fire. The king praised God, and he said, the God of these men must have saved them. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new law for all the people. Anyone who says anything bad about God will be punished, and no other God can save people like this. Then the king gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego even more important jobs in the kingdom of Babylon. Every week, we do our Christ Connect where we tie in stories about who God is with our living. God saved Daniel's friends from the fire. Jesus came to save us in an even better way. Jesus died so we wouldn't be punished for our sin. He was punished instead. So when we know and love Jesus, Jesus saves us so we can be with God forever. Are you ready to learn our memory verse one more time? Let's practice. May the name of God be praised forever and ever, for wisdom and power belong to him. Daniel chapter 2, verse 20. Did you get it? Great job, you guys. Let's say it one more time, just to practice. Are you ready? Great. May the name of God be praised forever and ever, for wisdom and power belong to him. 
Did you get it? Good job, everybody. Oh, I'm so proud of you. And I love this Bible story and seeing how Daniel and his friends trusted in God and that God rescued them just like he rescues us. Let's see what Sable and Rocco thought about this Bible story too. Come on. Wow, God told Daniel's friends only to worship him, not the king's statue. They stuck together like a tower of giraffes and obeyed God. You know what, Sable? God helps us to obey too, even when it's hard. I know it would be easier to toss the giraffe's food on the ground, but Willow said we need to use the pulley to get the food up high. We can trust God to help us obey. You're right, Rocco. Let's head over to the zoo kitchen, get some nice cold water to drink, and get busy moving with that food up to the giraffes. Want to use my fan for a little bit? loved our Bible story today. Now, do you hear that sound? That must be our drum roll. It's time to stand up as we worship together. Let's go.
All right, everyone, we know our last song. It's our alligator goodbye song. Let me see your alligator snap. Here we go. enjoyed today's story. Now, who's ready to pray with me? Can you wiggle your fingers? Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap. Let's pray, friends. Dear God, thank you for helping us share your love with others. And thank you for helping us learn more about you today. We love you. Amen. Thanks, friends. We'll see you next time.